Domestic violence advocacy groups want more to be done to protect victims. This after a mother of five was killed in Castle Rock, her estranged husband suspected in her death. 7 News reporter Mark Boyle is in Castle Rock. Mark, you've talked to these advocacy groups, and they want more preventative measures. Specifically, ways to contain violent offenders before the attacks turn serious or even deadly. That wasn't done here. Even still, domestic violence experts say the victim did everything right. It was just over in a suburban area here in Castle Rock where she died from stab wounds. Police say it was her estranged husband who attacked her. Police say the woman was staying with relatives in her attempt to get away from her husband, who police say has a history of abuse. Jennifer Walker runs the crisis center here in Castle Rock, a place for women and men to turn when they find themselves or their family in serious danger. Walker says the victims need to seek help to escape the situation, which is just what the woman did in this case. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough. Finally made this choice to go, and even in all of her really, really well thought out efforts, he didn't care about what laws were there and what rules were there and what protections were there for her. Now, police aren't releasing any names in this case. We're expecting those very soon, and we'll have those for you maybe as early as tomorrow. As for the crisis center and other domestic violence shelters and centers around the state, you can find sheltering there for temporary purposes in case of an emergency. If you're trying to escape abuse, there's also counseling for adults and families if you need it. You can find the number there if you need help or you know anybody that does. The number is there on your screen. You can also find it on our story on the DenverChannel.com online. Live in Castle Rock, Mark Boyle, 7 News.